All right, guys. This is the Renogy 250 watt panel that I purchased. It's basically a square. It's about three by three foot. And over here, these are the two flexible 50 watt panels. Now, these panels have the sun power cells in them. But uh, if you look, I'm not so sure about the build quality with these. Their alignment isn't very good on the cells, and I, I know that doesn't make much of a, a difference, but it does bother me. <laughs> um, the other thing I noticed was this one has a little crack right here. So I'm not too impressed there. But uh, overall, they're performing. So let's go take a look at the actual data. So here is the data. The red represents the 150 watt Renogy panel, and the blue represents the 250 watt flexible panels. So you can see that the Renogy panel is bringing in 18 watts, and the flexible panels are bringing in roughly 8 watts. If we look at it relative to um, relative to the maximum total out of, uh, power output, the Renogy panel is outperforming all of the solar panels that I have hooked up. And this is a pretty consistent thing that I'm seeing. If I look at this over a longer period, now bearing in mind here, the batteries were too full and the charge controller actually switched the Renogy panel off. But when I put some load on there, you can see that the the Renogy panel is consistently doing better than the rest of the panels. And I saw this yesterday as well. At the end of the day, in lower light conditions, the Renogy panel continued to outperform the rest. Um, in the lower light conditions, kind of when the sun was going down, it seemed like the Renogy panel and the flexible panels were beating the other two panels that I have hooked up. So that's pretty interesting. And this is, again, this is on my deck. This is with a fence, a fence either side of them and a giant tree in the way as well. So I think that's pretty cool. The It is a little surprising because the um, the flexible panels with the sun power cells, those sun power cells have bypass diodes built into them. So they should be able to handle partial shading much better. However, the orientation of the Renogy panel, I think you have three strings with bypass diodes on each string, and there probably isn't enough of a problem with shading for it to be noticeable here. So there we go. I'll be interested to see how these perform on the roof, but it's a little cold out. <laughs> so. I think it'll be a few months before I get up there and actually hook them up. All right, until next time.